Welcome to the lesson video on advantages and disadvantages of trees. In this video, we're going to walk through some of the advantages and disadvantages of trees that are suggested in our textbook, Introduction to Statistical Learning. So to begin with, trees are very easy to explain to people. So it's a good way to communicate classification or regression methods to somebody who's not an expert in the field or is not used to doing data mining. In fact, they're even easier to explain than linear regression. Some people believe that decision trees more closely mirror human decision making than do regression and classification approaches seen in, in previous chapters. Trees can be displayed graphically and are easily interpreted even by the non-expert, especially if the trees are small. Trees can handle qualitative predictors without the need to create dummy variables. We've seen that a number of times. When you, when you check the qualitative predictor, you can just check it and send down the two separate branches depending on what its value is. Disadvantages, unfortunately, trees do generally do not have the same level of predictive accuracy as some of the other regression classification approaches. And additionally, trees can be very non-robust. In other words, a small change in the data can cause a large change in the final estimated tree. Fortunately, we can um, make up for these two disadvantages in things called tree ensembles, where a large number of trees are made and the classifier is the average over the large number of trees. And tree ensembles, in fact, are one of the best performing general methods available. Thank you very much for watching.